Would you rather suck Trump off yeah. for 15 uninterrupted minutes? Oh, Christ. Oh. Uninterrupted. Can they be slightly interrupted? Can someone walk in the I'll room I'll have like, Boris oh. Johnson become Prime Minister of this country, oh which he God. definitely will soon. Like, no. if, if Theresa May resigns, we're going to be with fucking Boris Johnson. Can you imagine? It, can you imagine? A, can you imagine fucking hey. Boris Johnson and Donald Trump working oh together? God. We're going to be a fucking laughing stock of the world. Yeah. The thing is, like, Boris Johnson, he's not as stupid as he looks, like, he, that's all bollocks. I don't, well, I mean, that's like, oh, I don't, don't think he has any intelligence. Don't worry about me, I'm just some idiot. I'm not terrifying mm. and evil. I don't think he has any intelligent empathy. Mate, in terms of when he becomes Prime Minister, we're going to see what a fucking monster he really is. Although, mm. <laughs> since this is probably going to go out, like, at least a few weeks after we record it, this probably didn't happen, I should look like a fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> It'll be Reese Morgan, he'll fucking illegalize abortion. I love what uh, my sister said about uh, Jacob Reese Park. Yeah. He said, uh, uh, she said, um, uh, he's got six kids. Who the fuck? Who, who the hell fucked Jacob Reese Mogg <laughs> six times? <laughs> I would rather fuck yeah. money bags than Jacob Reese Mogg. Uh, I'd, I'd rather pay 400 gems for the privilege. <laughs> so, Spyro, you need to learn the fellatio technique. Oh my god. I can teach you it for a small fee. As rattles his, his sack of gems. <laughs> Oh, I hate Aquarius Towers, it's the bugger to a water level and it's fucking... Would you rather rattle my small sag, sag of gems? Or fly... Upside down... While eating? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let this happen. What rhymes with gems? This is, uh... Bellend. This is, this is Tory spending policy in a nutshell. That's poor people, <laughs> and then that's people like... Ah, oh, benefits! Benefits! Uh. Benefits. Benefits. Tax cuts to the uh, world. Yeah. <laughs> what is our audience for this video? That's a really good analogy. I know. We're people like us that are sick of being polarized left or right that have some Tom, common sense. Jeremy Corbyn, what's your view on him? Would you risk him off? <laughs> uh, well, not voluntarily. Okay, would you let him become the prime minister? Whatever. What 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 do you think of him? He didn't he didn't wear a tie. Yeah, it didn't, he, he didn't sing the national anthem that one time. He 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 would be reluctant to nuke millions of innocent people. So yeah, I don't reluctant know, as well. Not 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 not. Otherwise. He wouldn't do it. Yeah, just just reluctant. Want to. I, I, was, I, 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 I was in a taxi the other day and like the taxi driver was like, I wouldn't. I've voted Labour all my life, but he said. It wouldn't press the button and you like if we're getting nuked. What is the point? I'd rather just fucking die and know that. No, like millions of people in Russia didn't also die, yeah. Right, what's at my the point, expense. Man? Let me just fucking go without having that on my head. You Fuck ever see, that. uh... This but, is probably like the least cheerful thing we've ever discussed on. Like the most, like, tonally well, dissonant the, the, thing ever. The thing is, like... The, can, I just, can I just say quickly? Yeah, yeah. Like, at the sort of... I, I believe that re reality to me... I, I know I live an okay life, but it's like... You don't have toilet paper, it's not that okay. <laughs> <laughs> The, the world the world is morbid and horrible and terrifying and unrelatable and just terrible in all these different ways for me comedy and just mentioning it and joking about it is like a lance to a to a boil it just releases that tension and makes me feel so much better about the more mm. the morbidness of reality and the unbearableness sometimes especially when you're on your own it just goes around and around and in your head sometimes that's why i'm gonna let you keep talking like but i'm gonna like zoom in on this like funny sheep to just write in the mood <laughs> that go i just i'm trying to trying to be uplifting like I, I, I found solace in comedy like fairly recently in the past year or so like just uh, it, yeah it's therapeutic and it, it really is beautiful that's why i think anything can be a joke in 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 if it's made well and it's in a good context like <laughs> oh that made me want to throw up <laughs> yeah comic comedy to me is like like almost oh, spiritually it. relevant like it's just it makes I know everything what you mean, man. I mean, don't it forget, like, bearable. you know, I'm a writer as well, and I don't do yeah. comedy that much, but, like, just yeah, when you, just, just being able to fucking write about it and talk about it, yeah. like, yeah. Just is being, fucking yeah. wonderful. I think that's maybe why I, I would have gone too. completely mental if I hadn't been for, like, having a creative outlet mm. and being able to, like, just get shit out there and talk about it and mm. make something good out of it. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Like, it's yeah. It's fucking great, man. Like, recently, I had a really shitty situation in life. Nice. And over the course of about three or four months, I wrote a song, pitched it to my band, <clears throat> developed it, and we played it live recently. I got great feedback from it, and it's like, yeah, I've been depressed about this thing for four months. 
but I've been able to play in front. I've been able to, the, this song has been born from this sadness, and yeah, that just I know is so that. fucking gra It's just existentially gratifying. It's it's like putting your finger on the scale a little bit and being like, oh, okay, this situation sucks and making you miserable, but you know what? It's born something new, and it doesn't necessarily even it out. But it, but it helps, it's yeah. nice. It's nice that this no, thing I, I totally know what you mean. Like, yeah. I, can, I completely agree. Like, awesome. Like when. Fuck. I mean, obviously, I can't go into like detail about specifics mm. and names and shit. But like, yeah. You know, that shit. Shit. yeah, that shit. Yeah, it's fucking dead. Um, yeah, you can have like something really fucking shit happen to you, and like, you get to the castle, it can just fucking fill you up with fucking misery. Hmm. <laughs> I hope that it's just being said. <laughs> like, yeah! And then, and then it's, uh. it's like you get filled up with this bile mm. and having a creative outlet for it, like writing or music or even comedy, mm. you know, just like daft shit like this. Mm. Let's you sort of just expunge, ex, expunge some of that. I don't yeah. think that's the right word. But no, I totally agree. Yeah. And I, I really think that, like, anyone who can, who, like, has the chance to do it, mm should try and have a creative outlet because everyone yeah. goes through shit yeah. and i appreciate not everyone has the means to do it but like mm. no nah, anyone who I can definitely should i don't know about the means like it could be it could i just be mean anything. like like let's say like you're supporting a family yeah. on your own and you got to work all the time so and it, yeah if you're really long energy, yeah like sometimes yeah. you just can't but yeah, if yeah. you can you should fucking try and have something yeah just totally. get your fucking just say something man. just get your fucking mm. message out there it's generally and, and, I, and i think yeah. i'm surprised by like how many people relate to like the shit that I write about? Mm. Like yeah. you can write about stuff that you don't think is going to connect to anyone, and sometimes it does. Like, like I wrote the scene in Kura, that's my book, where it's basically like this guy who's is a crossdresser, and he fucking hates himself, and he basically he basically puts on like his women this like feminine outfit, and he fucking feels better about himself because he thinks it looks it looks beautiful. And I read that like to my mum, thinking that oh, this isn't going to connect at all. Oh yeah. And she was like, oh yeah, you know, this actually give me a bit of an insight into like, because I always just think it's this is what she was saying. Because I always just think mm. it's funny like when you see someone like a guy dressed in a dress or whatever. Oh uh, yeah. But like, I actually really sort of put me into the mindset of this guy. Ah. Uh. And it's it's really cool like when things that you don't even expect people to relate mm. to. Does that make any sense? Have I just been talking shit for the last two minutes? No, no. I mean, you could probably made it into less sentences but I'm being judged I'm judging you are you fucking judging me on my syntax right now <laughs> even though you didn't see me just absolutely fucking demolished crush yeah to be fair you were like annihilating that fucking I'm having a serious conversation here. you just break my balls over my syntax <laughs> that is that is how I imagine every alt-right reddit user <laughs> just being that short <laughs> no my memes <laughs> Do you understand the Pepe the Frog meme? I don't. Yeah. I don't. It's so fucking with a mic. What is the frog? What does the frog mean? It, it it's a symbol of of just how fucking ridiculous and bullshit the whole thing is. Like, the whole thing is just designed. Just it's it's nihilism incarnate. It's just yeah, like yeah. our symbol is a fuck, fucking frog. I see. It's also sort of a deterrent because it may, it turns a lot of people off the, it it being serious and it makes it like a an easy oh yeah oh it's just a joke people. thing yeah it's just a joke we didn't elect this fucking incompetent sack of fucking orange shit into the white house and now he's fucking things up for lgbt people and denying climate change and ruining the fucking planet oh it's just a joke look at this frog to be fair the democrats would have been just as bad. oh yeah yeah hillary clinton is a fucking soulless you ever see that doctor who where like there's the aliens that wear human skin so yeah. they cannot get into politics the Slovene. Yeah. That's her. This is one of my favourite levels, by the way. This is a fucking fat level. I'm gonna do the uh, trouble with the trolley. Just remember this is the last spiral level. Yeah, for, for this both for you. Yeah. You you're familiar with the trouble with the trolley, eh, meme? No. Yeah, it's it, it it's a <laughs> side quest on this level where like it's it's just a fucking really hard side quest. Mm. And every time you fail it, this this pelican's just like trouble with the trolley, eh? <laughs> just like proper like rubbing your nose in it. Alright. And like, I remember I used to play this as a kid with my sister and like, we just stayed up like all night just on that mission, just getting fucking uh, yeah. enraged at it. <laughs> like, yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and do that on this, uh, on this, on this, on this attempt. That's cool. So I've got to collect all the gears yeah. on this trolley without falling off it. 
It's really fucking hard. Is it? Yeah. It looks fairly. What do you control? It starts right off now? easy. You control. You can you control when you move left and right, when you jump, and when you fire the cannon. Okay. Sounds simple. It's sort of like Dark Soulsian logic in gaming design. I like it. They're paying homage to their to their roots. What the roots of a game that came out 11 years after this, but from a different developer. <laughs> Oh, uh, you shoot that to change direction. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, mate, if I get this in one, we're having we'll we're having this orgy. How many lives do you get, or does it just end if you hit a wall? If you hit, if you hit anything, yeah, you, you it ends. Fucking hell, that sounds brutal. Yeah, it's, but I've been playing this game for like twenty years, so I'm a fucking oh. master. But All it's right. still fucking hard. The, the, the fucking shit is on them. Yes. Who said the shit is on the line? <laughs> no, it's, the, it's just generally on. It's just on. Oh my god, six left. It's speeding up, man. You've got it. You've got it. Oh shit, I didn't mean to go around again. It's cool. It's cool. We're cool. We're taking a breather. I can do this. Taking a break. I can do this. Yep, of course you can. Got it. Yes! Yes! TNT. Nice. TNT. Nice. Oh! He does it in one! He never oh I never got to say trouble with the troll here. Yeah? Uh, How will millennials like our video if we don't put in the memes? Dislike the Shit, I just I just fucking halved our view account for this video. <laughs> no one's gonna shout on Facebook with the caption. Oh my God, yeah. Remember Trouble with the Trolley? Have you ever well this guy trouble? is trouble with getting an erection. <laughs> fucking hell. But he was so I'm joking. But it's just <laughs> trouble getting the hard on, eh? If only he could use a trolley to carry all his Viagra to the till. <laughs> just like he just a full trolley. A trolley load of Viagra. But it's still Spyro carrying it. <laughs> How will I ever fuck my spouse now? So if we... Because we basically had like a really serious conversation for most of this level. Like, so we've got into some deep personal shit. And then we're just like... I got into Joe's deep personal shit. He's yeah. asshole. And then we were just like, okay, this hasn't been funny at all. <laughs> so we've just cut out like all of that level. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed these two minutes of well, Breeze Let's Harbor. watch this execution oh, scene. Oh, fuck me. Did you just I skip the execution X. scene? What happens? The, the, they, um... They just kill them both. Really funny. They, 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 they make it seem as though they're going to choose one. They yeah, just like, kill shoot one in the back. and then let the other one yeah. know what's going to happen. Right, the next time we'll play Spyro, I'll be playing Fracture Hills and telling you how I used to fancy the fawns on that level when I was six. We're coming for you, Venezuela. So tune in, fairies. <laughs> Get your tissues ready, because we're going to Fracture Hills. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Want to watch some Jodie Wicker Hero Doctor Who and talk about how shit is? Yeah.